Hello, my dear students. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you are fine. This is your science class, week number 10. Today was Tuesday, 3 11 2020. This is your science learner's book, page 26 and 27. You have to open it. Okay, today we started the new unit, unit number three, changing materials. Okay, this unit about uh, different materials and how do we change in different shapes. Some materials are soft and some materials are hard. So you have to change by bending, twisting, squashing, right? So here is the first lesson from unit three, materials changing shapes, okay? And uh, page 26 and 27, you have to open uh, these pages and try to learn about different materials and how do we change them. In this lesson, we learned that how the shape changed, right? In the unit two, you learn about uh, different materials. Some materials are man-made, some materials are natural, okay? And you also learn that some materials are soft and some materials are hard. So today we learn that how the shape changed. Before we start the new lesson, we have the four new words. The first one is when we want to change the shape. The first one is bend. Okay, we can change any shape by bending, by twisting, by stretching, and by squashing, right? So some materials are hard and some materials are very soft. You can change by your hand and some materials are very hard. You have to change by, you have to need some extra tools or you have to give them heat to change the shape, right? So there are four ways to change the shape, bending, twisting, stretching and squashing okay so you have to see the learner book and uh, you have four pictures that shows how the girl change the shape by hand or by mm, sorry uh, how do we the different ways how do we change the shape look at the girl the first picture on your learner's book the girl is changing the shape by bending okay the girl is changing the shape by bending now look at this girl the second picture on your book the girl is twisting the cloths right so the girl can easily change the shape by twisting and look at this picture the girl is changing the shape by stretching this material usually the flexible right so you have to push the material okay oppositely so the girl is changing material by stretching and the last one is the girl is squashing the material, okay? Now look at this cloth, okay? Or like a foam or like a, uh, you have different soft materials like uh, cushions and sofas, okay? So you have to change the shape very easily by squashing. And the most common example is balloon, okay? So you can push the balloon 
downwards and uh, you have to change the shape by squashing right so you learned that you can change shape by squashing stretching twisting and bending okay you have to memorize the words how do we change the shape now look at the example of balloon now look at the hand so the balloon is squashing okay this is the example of squashing it's not bending or twisting okay it's example of squashing right now look at this picture you can find different materials some materials are hard and some materials are very soft so you can change the soft materials by your hands and uh, there are some hard materials you can change by uh, different tools and giving them heat so look at the templin so the templin is what do you think it's an example of squashing right because this is the soft material so you can't say this bending twisting or stretching okay you will say this is the example of squashing it's because it's flexible so it's squashing and uh, because soft material okay so which material is changed by squashing so as you can see the templin is changed by squashing you don't need any tools or give them heat or okay any other things so you can change by your hands or from your uh, by jumping and it will stretch and you can scratch okay so here are the four common examples okay uh, you can change materials by your hands right because these materials are very soft you can change by your hands look at the ruler this is the flexible okay so you can change by bending look at this example you can change by squashing this is the twisting okay the towel is twist by hands and look at this rubber rubber band you can change by your hand so it's flexible and soft so you will say stretch okay bending squashing twisting and stretching so here are the four uh, questions a b c and d today we discussed that uh, uh, look at the two hands okay and look at the action so what force has been done okay how has the shape been changed by stretching very good and uh, you have to look this picture this is by twisting bending and squashing so the next thing is on page number 27 on your book why we use materials squash and stretch okay as you can see i'm going to show you your learner book here are the four pictures we discussed today okay you have to learn that and uh, now look at the two pictures and the question is we use materials which squash and stretch why to make us comfortable okay because soft materials can be changed by your hands and this is we can we change the shapes for make us comfortable now look at the bricks the bricks material are very hard so you have to you need more 
power okay you need more force to break them or change in different shapes so you have to give them heat or you have to you need the hammer to break or change as you want right so we use soft materials to make us comfortable okay and look at the two hard materials some materials do not change shape easily by your hands so you need tools like hammer or look at this nail you have you want to change the shape by bending so you have to need the heat okay so I hope you understand today's lesson. So there are four ways to change the shape, bending, twisting, stretching, and squashing. And this is the homework on page 16, activity book. And uh, you have to see the picture and uh, try to make balloons here and how balloons squash. Okay, draw what balloon will look like when after squashing, okay, when you give or when you give extra force or little force, okay, how balloons change by squashing. So you have to follow this picture and try to finish this exercise. Thank you so much. Take care. Goodbye.